Hello guys! Yesterday on this channel we talked about the most important things that happened with Laravel ecosystem in 2024. Now kind of a follow-up, part 2 of this video, what are we expecting and what are we waiting for in 2025? So on the official Laravel YouTube channel there's a playlist what's new in Laravel, so in the same fashion I will list the things what will be new in Laravel and around Laravel in 2025. And I've picked 6 things. First is VS Code extension. It was announced in August that they would be shipping that later this fall. They didn't deliver, it's December, but no big deal, we will wait until 2025 I guess, or maybe by the time this video airs they would surprise the community and release it after all in 2024. But I think VS Code will be pretty important topic for 2025 in Laravel in general. And I think I will create a special course or YouTube video series on that, because as I see in my audience, not everyone can afford PHP Storm or other editors. And also VS Code is tightly coupled with Copilot, and also there's cursor editor, AI editor fork of VS Code. So a lot of things will be happening around VS Code in general in 2025 and extension for Laravel will be part of it. Then of course in 2025 we're waiting for Laravel Cloud and they started releasing that in 2024 for some internal invitations. I recently received an official email from waiting list with the dates, so here's my tweet. There are a few people already trying that I saw on Twitter, like Matt Stauffer for example, but there will be another batch of early access in December, another batch in mid-January, and then generally will be available, should be available in February. And the first impressions from Laravel Cloud from those people who actually started using that are overwhelmingly positive and exciting. Also in 2025, we will have another second secret project, or not secret anymore, it's Nightwatch, the dashboard to monitor pretty much everything in your Laravel project. There's this Laravel news article and it all there's this Laravel news article and there's also a demo from Laracon AU by Jess from Australia, so you can watch that. It also looks pretty impressive. For now, all we know that early access is in Q1 2025, so roughly after Laravel Cloud release, I think. And I briefly touched on Laravel 12, which should be released in March of 2025, according to the schedule of yearly release. And this is a tweet by Taylor himself, replying to another tweet about Laravel 12. And this is the main thing you need to know. The goal is no breaking changes. So I don't think there will be any changes in Skeleton or anything major. It will be just for stability, especially around other tools that already exist and coming to Laravel ecosystem like Cloud, Nightwatch, VS Code Extension, Inertia 2, and others. And by the way, you can already look at what has been merged into Laravel 12. There's a specific branch on Laravel framework, on GitHub, everything is public. At the time when I was tweeting that, there were already 90 things merged into Laravel 12, and there will be probably even more week after week. The next thing expecting alongside Laravel 12, I said no breaking changes, but this will be pretty interesting. Not sure if it comes with Laravel 12 or afterwards, but Taylor and the team is starting the work on new Laravel starter kits that would replace current Breeze, JetStream, and even earlier Laravel UI. Here's a tweet, and again I will link that in the description below, which received more than 1000 likes, with general thoughts for now what is coming, and you can read all the replies with ideas and answers by Taylor himself, so this is kind of the general direction. And the first kind of teaser of that was on GitHub, when someone tried to suggest some functionality for Inertia in JetStream, and this was the reply back in September, that Taylor would be focused on rebuilding the starter kits this fall, so we will see the result of that in 2025. The next thing coming to 2025, not directly to Laravel, but since Tailwind is so popular now, Tailwind version 4 may be a part of the 2025 ecosystem with Laravel, and Adam tweeted that it's already in beta phase. I'm not sure about the dates of the official release, it should be probably in early 2025, I'm not sure if they release that on Christmas, but as with everything, whenever they actually release it, the adoption will come in waves, so more and more things would get adopted to Tailwind 4 in later months of 2025. And the last thing I want to mention on this list in 2025, I'm waiting for Filament version 4 as well, which was teased back in April of 2024. They hoped to release that in 2024, but it got delayed partially because, as Dan Harris said, they are waiting for Tailwind 4 release, which makes sense so they wouldn't rebuild 
the same thing again after Tailwind 4 is released. So I guess we should expect Filament 4 in roughly Q1 2025 at the end or maybe even Q2 2025. You can find the features already on GitHub already. There's a milestone V4 so you can see what is closed, what is open and will they accomplish actually anything until V4. You can read it all on GitHub and engage in discussions. So yeah, these are the things I'm personally waiting for in 2025 around Laravel ecosystem. What would you add to that list? And also, of course, I will be creating content around all those new features and tools and releases, as well as I will create courses around them. I will update older courses. So this is one of the benefits of having text-based courses mostly. As soon as Laravel 12 is released, I will be pretty quick with update with the team. So we'll have testing for Laravel 12, Filament 4 from scratch and others. So join our premium membership on Laravel daily to get all of that in 2025. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.